Oh, okay, I got Burlington Hall. Did I do my last Burlington Hall with you guys? I must have, right? I had to have. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, aren't these bags ridiculously big? Um, I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, when she had me these bags, I was like, oh my goodness, right? I feel weird. <laughs> All right, I spent a total of $425.32. So I um, originally went out for lunch today and then um, I went to a restaurant that was like really close to, I just like remembered, like I totally forgot that I was vlogging today. I've been so bad with vlogging my daily vlogs like the past two days, yeah. So anyways, the restaurant I went to get my lunch at um, was right next to Burlington and that's where I needed to go return um, my pink my pink purse, the pink backpack that I got at my last haul because the zipper on it was horrendous. Yeah, I kept the other two purses, but that was the only thing I returned. Um, everything else worked great for me. Um, so I got that returned and then I went and shopped some more, but I needed swimsuits, right? And so that's like the reason that I went there was for swimsuits. <laughs> and I just happened to find some more things, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, I actually walked right past the bags and purses um, at this one first because, yeah, I spent the most time there right at the beginning of the store and, like, the last Burlington I went into was so much, like, nicer for the purse section. Yeah, this one had literally, like, two rows and, it, like, I don't know, like, the inside of the store, the other one was just so pretty and this one it was just, like, not, yeah, and they only had, like, they didn't have any of the same purses either or the bags, right? Like I thought it would be all the same, but it was not the same at all. So anyways, on my way out, I browsed them real quick because I had already spent so much money. So I was like, what's, you know, whatever. Um, let's just see what they have. And so this was $23. I'm just rounding up from $22.99. I hate saying that the 99s. It's by Grossi New York. I don't really get into the brands. Um, but since I've been shopping and at any like places other than Shein and like Goodwill, I'm starting to kind of like pay attention to brands of shoes and um, yeah, just like brands I don't like and brands that I do like. So um, I don't know anything about this brand yet, but I really like this purse, how it looks. I'm trying to get more into like an adult style, I guess, a more grown style. Um, so this will go nice and this can go with like a more like a blouse like a white blouse and some like you know like that you know yeah and it's just one big um compartment in there and then a little one so nothing fancy i really like this i haven't worn a purse in years but yes i used to carry them i used to only carry nine nine west the brand nine west was like my go-to for purses and they have a lot of like similar like this one kind of like looks like them right yeah because they usually have like a more like simple and chains i just really like this yeah simple and brown so i really really like this i think it's gonna go great with like my new like grown-up style or whatever yeah um I'm trying to find like what i'm trying to show you like yeah and then this was 13 dollars this is more like a sexy shirt though, like, but this is kind of what I'm, like, we could pair this up with this. At first when I got this, I thought it was like a pajamas or that's what I was going to style it as, you know, like a sexy, um, oversized boyfriend tee, yeah. But now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I was going to do like a, like, as a, like a sexy lingerie type of, right, like, um, a hookup, right, or like with like white socks, yeah, they're, I know they're dirty, but like just this and white socks and maybe like a cute, like, white lingerie underneath or something yeah but now that i'm looking at it yeah this would really match with the purse with some black leggings or something yeah what else or like some some jeans i could like also um roll this up and tuck it in yeah and like that would be nice a collared nice button down and i just really like this fabric too so this is um very nice i really like this yeah everything's wrinkled i need to learn how to iron or um yeah spend a ridiculous amount on getting it sending it in to get ironed and taken care of for me i don't want to ruin anything all right these were 13 dollars um a size medium yeah i don't know a size medium for jeans and again 
I'm just like all over the place with my sizing. And so I think I'm gonna not take the tags off of these clothes because I didn't try them on at the store. I way back when I used to try everything on, I stopped doing that because it takes no like another 40 minutes to try on everything that I buy and I get all sweaty and disgusting and I just don't want to and I think it's weird like getting my deodorant or like my sweat on the clothes, you know, like I just don't want to do that anymore. And so I was just kind of going off of like how they look. And like they're cute i really like them i just don't know if they're gonna fit me so we're gonna keep the tags on and then if they don't i'm just gonna return them because i used to not return anything ever but now we're getting to the point where like why keep them but then i'm like well keep them because you change weight so much that you'll eventually fit into them no 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 we yeah we cannot keep doing that like no so we'll see how this stuff goes I should do a try on haul but i'm so sorry i don't think i will because that is just like a whole lot it's just a whole lot um maybe when i do a smaller haul or like a shein haul or something that's more like yeah like things that you guys can actually buy too that's actually gonna still be available i don't know um this was eight dollars and forever 21 um, this is like a sexy going out dress, right? But it's like super see-through, like a lot of this stuff is. So I don't know if this is more lingerie, but I was just going to wear it out because I'm looking for like date night stuff. Yeah, more grown-up, going to, out to eat to restaurants, going out for shows, date night. Um, I don't have any of that. I don't know how to dress for that. I do. I just can't wear heels. So that's something we are working on, putting together more outfits. It's got a little... Um, zipper right here on the side it goes all the way down to here right that's a pretty big zipper it looks small oh well, I thought it said it was um, a size medium it's a size small but right everything looks so small but it fits me I guess I'm just smaller than um, I think right my body keeps changing so this will be pretty right I think this will be really sexy pretty um, I just have to get the right undergarments for it, right? Yeah, and not get it all wrinkled, girl. Or it's okay if this gets wrinkled, if it's really tight on me. Yeah, it'll pull the wrinkles out. <laughs> I really need to get like a tailor or like somebody who knows how to like take care of the clothes because I don't and I don't want to ruin them. I want to just drop them off and have them um, do it for me just so I don't waste money because I'm just like not good with stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I really just don't care to learn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's, it just takes up too much time. Yeah. Um, this is $10. Um, um, a swimsuit cover up black. I really didn't really like how this looked, but yeah, it looks like cheap and I just don't like the fabric. However, like I need stuff like this. Yeah. And, um, maybe it'll look different once it's on me. And if I dress it up with some like jewelry or like the swimsuit that I wear under it, or it won't even like matter because if I'm like wearing this over it, it's going to be to like a, a family beach probably, you know, or like, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Yeah. I'll keep the tags on everything. Um, because I just really don't want to waste any money and keep things just because I have to, or like be like, I'll just give it away. Like, no. So that's a swimsuit cover up. I need a few more of those. Um, this is another one of those grown shirts that was freaking $21 on clearance. So I don't think it's returnable. It's Calvin Klein. Um, I really debated putting this back because of the price. Yeah. Um, just because I, I go to Goodwill, like I've been to Goodwill so many times in the past that I was like, I can get a shirt like this at Goodwill for $5. Like for real, for real, they have so many clothes like this at Goodwill. And I probably could have went right next door to Goodwill and gotten a shirt just like this in a different color maybe. But I just really like this one. And like I said, I'm really trying to like make my collection um, more of going out stuff and proper things. And this is like a good going out to eat, um, you know, with some black slacks or black jeans, skinny jeans, and like a pair of heels or nice shoes. So I really like this. It's a size medium though, and it's Kev Kelvin Klein. I like Kelvin Klein. The quality is, seems to be good. 
so maybe it's worth it um i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna make it worth my money i'm gonna find a way to make this worth my money i'm just worried that's gonna be a little too big but shirts like this like i kind of like them baggy and i'm gonna tuck it in right like you tuck these in into like jeans or something to make and then i want it kind of loose in my midsection and these are not shirts that I want to be so booby. Like I want it to lay nicely on my chest. I don't want my breasts out there. So um, we'll see how this fits me. If it doesn't fit me, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I'll find a way to make my money's worth from it. Like just doing one photo shoot will literally make my money's worth so that it'll make me feel better, right? And sundresses, I love sundresses. This was $7, Old Navy. Um, I've never shopped at Old Navy in my life. I just hated everything they had. It's just very basic in there, right? Um, I feel like I need to sit up higher, sit on my pillow here. Okay, this is super cute, right? Super cute, only $7. Again, see-through, everything is see-through, but right, I don't care about that. I just care about me not really wanting to wear undergarments is the only issue, right? And so with see-through things, they kind of have to. Maybe I'll just get like some nipple covers, right? Like the sticky nipple covers. Um, I don't know. I don't care about wearing like a thong under it, but right, I don't know. It's just like bras. I just got a thing about it. It's a small petite. And oh my goodness, are those pockets? What? Oh my goodness, I got one pocket, I got two pockets. Oh my gosh, I don't know, this is one of my favorite things from this haul. Yeah, I just really like this, it's cute, it's super girly. I need to try this stuff on. Maybe I will do a try on haul for you guys because I don't know, like, I love girly things, I do. I just, looking at this, it looks super girly and I really just don't know if like, these colors look good on me though, right? Yeah, it'll look cute. I don't know what's going on with me. I always like girly. Yeah, I just been so weird lately. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm buying it new. Like for real, I'm just freaking out because I'm so used to shopping at Goodwill for everything being like $2.50. So anything over that is like hard for me to spend the money. These were $11 for two bras, right? Like that's pretty good price. And I finally got my actual size. Well, um, I don't know if that's my actual size, but a 36C is like a 32D or something. What do they say? Or a 34D? But anyways, 36C fits me right now. And these have padding in them. And that's what I'm looking for. Um, for I know I said I hate bras, but like the days that I want to be like sexy. And I have a few shirts like um, that I want my breasts to have cleavage in. Right? It's just like I don't want that every day. So I have a variety of stuff. But... If they fit me, right, and they're not tight and not suffocating me, it's a very better for me to be able to wear them for more than, like, an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, what brand are these? Because, let me see. Prima Valentina? Never heard. I just don't know about this. Like, these bands, they look kind of cheap to me. And, like, they kind of, like, are going to get wavy. But like I said, like, I don't need these for support and like, I would just rather them last longer and not fall apart, you know? Like, I'm really looking for quality, like, that I can wash in a washing machine and have them hold up. Um, but I'm also not about to spend $50 on bras like I used to at Pink or Victoria's Secret, but that was when I had like double d's and so like and i was working as a waitress so i needed like that support but now i don't need support so now i can buy cheap bras again um i wasn't gonna i was gonna originally put these back and get the other ones only but because these were so cheap and um the colors like yeah the pink i just needed a pink bra because i wear pink so often so like yeah i just i got the pink um just because of that i didn't really need this one but um, it's a two pack, so we're good on that. I was just gonna get these ones because they're more neutral. These ones, same brand, 36C Prima Valentina. These were $11 for two of them. And they're just the same thing, just different colors here. And they have the push up also on the bottom here. So we'll see how I like these. 
yeah i just needed some basics i still need a white one like i am really striking out when it comes to white bras and like that's like the number one like yeah i need a white bra now and is this considered nude maybe yeah um yeah these look like big cups my breast will fit in here we shall be good i just it looks too big i just don't like yeah so much coverage and it's so big <laughs> All right, on to swimsuits. This I actually found in um, the bra and panty section for $5, um, but it's an H&M swimsuit bottom. Thank goodness I found this because I remember I have that black top. Yeah, I wore that. I wore my bikini today, the mixed matched one, the black top with the um, teal bottoms, and it fits me perfectly, and I was able to lay outside and tan, you guys. I didn't know I was going to be able to um, get sun on my porch here, so I'm so excited. Yeah, so now I'm buying all the bikinis because now I can, like, wear them every day. I'm so excited. This is a size zero, though. Yeah, it looks small, and it doesn't go up in the butt, um, so, yeah, these might be a little tight. However, like, yeah, the smalls have been fitting me. I think it's just in my mind. Like, I think I'm just like, because I was an extra large. I was like a 2XL, like, at my highest just a few months ago, like, literally. So this whole, like, me being able to fit in a small is just not, um, yeah, it's not registering. And I'm just, like, freaking out thinking, like, I'm, you're just going to gain all the way back, right? Like, you're just going to gain it back. Like, I'm just, I can't get that out of my head because I've been yo-yoing for three, four, five years now. And I used to be just skinny, like, always. And then I purposely gained weight because, yeah, like, everybody was like, you're too skinny. And, like, curvy girls were, like, in style, you know. And so I've just been so back and forth now. I just I told myself I was gonna stay skinny though for the next few years here like there's I have to I have to so We'll see this was ten dollars um, a size medium And I just thought this was really cute this metallic -y color and it's more my um, I like these are comfortable for me Yeah, with this type of bra bralette style and just like a clasp in the back. I just really like these styles also. Adjustable straps is whatever for me. I don't really care if they're adjustable or not. It doesn't really feel like much support. Um, I don't know, I'm just used to like Goodwill stuff. I don't know, I literally have no idea, but I have to try it on. I really have to try it on. And I know it might be a little small on my breasts. I'm not worried about that, especially for bikinis and tanning. Like I will lay out there like barely covered because I want to get my body tan yeah so I want to get the majority of it tan and so for this I'll even like roll it up on the bottom and have like half of my my bottom of my boob hanging out and I don't care about that right especially when I'm on my porch my balcony like mind your business if you can see up there you are watching too close <laughs> it's a you problem not me <laughs> yeah and then I got um I found some cheap ones that were two pieces um where's the price on here oh no it must have fell off um huh well i don't know how much this one was yeah it fell off i'll if we find the tag i can find it again um i don't remember um it's from acceleration the size medium um size medium top right i was just telling or talking about on my vlog about how I wear a size large top and a size small bottoms which is ridiculous and about how like eight ten years ago they used to sell swimsuits together and they didn't do the whole different like sell them separately so we could do our own sizes right and so um I don't know I guess I didn't think about that when I was buying this because these are a little big but like I said this was cheap like this was under ten dollars for both of these and i was just at walmart yesterday looking at the swimsuits i hate their swimsuits i swear like five years ago they used to have like really cute cheap swimsuits like basics they have no selection now maybe it's just the one i went to i don't know i don't know what happened but yeah this is really cute and this is like coverage like i can wear this to a beach and feel like secure and covered enough um that it's not weird or inappropriate so that's a nice swimsuit for me I found this one was just a top and it was six dollars a size medium or no I kept the small or was it 
what does it? Um, oh, it says US six. Maybe I did put, I got the medium instead. Cause there was like, yeah, I got the small at first. And then I like, cause I start the small section and then I go up to the medium. And so if I find anything in the medium um, that I got in the small that I think might be too, too small, I'll exchange it out for the medium size. I know I just got done seeing that I'm a large top. However, um, for filming and for being more sexy, um, I, yeah, and this is like see-through. So this is like not a public, this is not a going to the beach, like around families. Yeah, this is like laying out tanning on my porch privately or like going out with friends for adult activities or like adult like day drinking, like floating down rivers and stuff like that, you know, like where kids aren't gonna be and families aren't cooking out or whatever, you know what I mean, yeah. Um, so that's like something I'll wear to a place like that. I do not have any bottoms for this, but like I said, I've been shopping a lot and like I'll eventually find a pair of bottoms or like just mix match. I can wear those black bottoms with this. I probably won't though, yeah. Um, but I'd be shopping and so I'll just always keep that in mind that I have this at home and I'll eventually find um, something to wear. Oh yeah, I don't like that, no. I don't know, um, I'll find something, yeah. And then look at this cute one. I got this for $10, it was a two piece for $10. Like that is so cheap, yeah, Burlington, go to Burlington. Um, yeah, and like the other one I went to that was in Vegas, right, like they didn't have barely any swimsuits, but probably because, right, um, people are buying them all up, yeah, so they don't last long. Or maybe it's the day of the week I went, yeah, I don't know about Burlington's restocking schedule. Um, I seen online something about like Mondays early in the morning, they have like sales or specials or they mark everything down an extra 30%. Um, who knows? I know about Goodwill's um, switching out and their coupon policy and their like tag weeks and different, you know, but I am not familiar with Burlington. Um, I just think this is super cute though. This is a size small. These look like they're going to fit me perfectly fine. And the top, I was worried about the top though, and especially like the arms. Like what if I can't even fit my arms in there? It's going to be tight. This is going to annoy me, but it's so cute. Yeah, like I would not swim in this. This is more for like filming and like being cute in and taking pictures and like going to maybe like, um, like an outdoor restaurant or an outdoor like swim up bar type of thing like not like swimming just like hanging out at like a beach to look cute yeah <laughs> um i don't know i think this is really cute i just hope it fits me but like because of this back i think it will like i can make it work yeah i'll be able to make it work and if i can't like i said we'll just use it for filming and or i'm still losing weight i've been maintaining 126 for like a month now um, I know I dropped down to 122 that one week and then I freaked out because I was like too skinny. <laughs> yeah, so I'm at 126 right now. Um, I'm eventually going to dro drop down another 10 pounds. I've been dropping down 10 pounds per month and then just kind of like maintaining for a few months here and there whenever I start freaking out. So yeah, usually when I start losing weight again, I will drop 10 pounds um, pretty easily. Yeah, um, eating healthy, just eating fruits, vegetables, and working out every single day and just kind of, yeah, keeping track of stuff. I don't count calories right now. I used to, but um, if I'm just eating fruits and vegetables all day long and not really consuming any carbs, I count the carbs, right? I just don't count the fruits and vegetables. I only pay attention to anything bad that I eat. And then, yeah, just make sure that I work out every single day. This was um, $4, size large. Um, I love these bralettes, bando, whatever they call. So I will definitely get my use out of these. And this is a gray one. I got a pink one last time. And I don't know if it was a size large. So this one will for sure fit me and be comfortable. And then I can wear this under like big baggy tees and stuff like that. So this will just be more of a comfort bra. Cheap, love it. Another swimsuit here, a um, uh, two-piece for $10, why am I, size small. Look at how amazing this is. Yeah, bright pink with um, animal print on it. It is so cute. Yeah, the top is gonna be very small. It's gonna cover like my areola and that's about it and that is okay with me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when I lose weight, my boobs usually shrink down. Like my boobs are not supposed to be this big at this weight, but that's because I'm maintaining and I keep like, I haven't just lost weight, like dropped weight. Um, I keep like stopping and maintaining and eating carbs again. Yeah, usually they are like smaller, um, not so full at this weight. 
so once i start losing weight again i will see but like what if they just never go down that's what i'm kind of prepared for these look like they go up very high yeah and they're like high cut here this might be a problem or it might have been a problem like when i was all natural down there <laughs> tmi but yeah you know what i mean um and this looks kind of small right i'm kind of like worried about falling out of here so we'll see how this goes like i really don't know if i can fit myself in there we will see yeah i don't know this kind of looks <laughs> right this is gonna be like i wish it wasn't such a sexy um cut bikini right because it looks so like cute like i would want to wear this to the beach but i just don't know if my curry body is gonna um yeah <laughs> i'll fit in there eight dollars another two piece i'm loving that i found two pieces for like eight dollars one price yeah size small exhilaration for the brand i was gonna put this one back i was unsure of it um little voice in my head was telling me to put it back but no like right it's only eight dollars and i need bikinis and if anything like yeah i'll wear this outside tanning like all the time and i take pictures all day long and like yeah photo sets and filming in them like i'll make my money back it'll be totally fine it's not that big of a deal right it's eight dollars i'll get it back yeah again this is small um for the top but yeah i'm gonna have to try these on for you guys but you know what happens when i do try on hauls and bikinis i get demonetized so right i don't know maybe i'll use a cover-up or just like be okay with that one being demonetized that's the reason you guys i don't do try on videos because it will be um demonetized so <laughs> maybe i'll find a way to do it yeah i will figure it out five dollars um look at this sparkly thing is this the bikini bottom yeah it's gotta be right mm -hmm. um right maybe this will go with uh, i don't know <laughs> i don't really like that either yeah like i said yeah i just buy like um whatever i don't care if it's oh yeah this is what i was um thinking right this i might be able to get away with like i'll wear this outside to tan in like just so i have something to wear like a top and a bottom when my other ones are like um dirty yeah but otherwise or i'll find like a plain black top or like honestly if you keep going back to the same stores you'll eventually or like all the styles are the same or all the designs and colors per season and so that's another thing like you don't even have to go to the same store but you just go to the clearance section at all the different stores and you'll eventually find things that match together yeah <laughs> and so i'll eventually find something to match with this i wanted to go to goodwill so bad today too i was just like i had been in here for an hour I just miss Goodwill and Goodwill prices, yeah. And I was just like so curious um, how many swimsuits I could have found at Goodwill for like so cheap because I can never have too many bikinis, yeah. And it's summer. I live in them all day long, yeah. Especially um, when I was in Vegas, like, oh my gosh, I can't get that out of my head. And I'm still like in the mindset, like you're gonna go back there. You're gonna get a place there. You're gonna be there all summer too, like. So I'm just like, you can get as many bikinis as you want because you're going to be in the desert and that's, it's like 120 degrees. So we just walk around in bikinis there, right? <laughs> um, next. $10, um, size small. I was debating putting this back at first. I had a medium in my cart. It's just like a plain black dress. And but it's like the the fabric is like not like going out dress, you know? So I didn't know, like, yeah, it's not um what I was going for. But I love black and I thought, and it's double lined, it's not see-through or yeah, it's double lined because it's like thicker. Um so I don't know like do you dress this up like i just put this and what kind of shoes do you wear? you know what i mean it's like a t-shirt it's like a t-shirt fabric and so i just don't know but knowing me and i just love black and like i'm still like yeah i would be uncomfortable maybe going on a date so maybe this would be like perfect i just got it it was kind of expensive but i just got it because it's one of those things that i would feel comfortable in maybe i'll be bloated maybe i'll be having my period or something maybe it's a first date or just going out with friends and like i'm just gonna feel uncomfortable in anything else besides just black 
and like a fabric like this I know I'll feel comfortable in so that's why I just kind of got this as like um, a security blanket type of right um I really hope that I don't just turn it into a laying around at how in the house type of yeah I really need help you guys like when I'm skinny skinny like 20 pounds lighter than this everything fits me and just like works you know like I can put together anything and it just like looks amazing but at this weight i'm really struggling i'm really really struggling like today this is what i wore today and i was freaking out because i was just struggling with like yeah what do i wear and so i just go for like plain clothes yeah and this is a size small is this a size small um top that i got at walmart and it was so big on me i had to um like i did the whole like tied in the back with the rubber band and I don't like that because I feel so tiny. I have to wear an extra small in these now. Um, I don't know if you watched my other vlog. Um, and if it was Burlington. Yeah, the last Burlington vlog I did. I, I did a vlog for you guys, right? Yes, I had to have. Yeah, that was last week. I got the Tommy Hilfiger, um, that bandeau, the small size bandeau top. Yeah, and then... So now today, this was $25 and it's clearance and it's a size large. So I can't return it, but I don't want to anyways. I really like this and I need more sweaters. Oh yeah, I didn't find any. But I was supposed to be looking for black sweaters, like plain black sweaters. Yeah, because I've been wearing them or just like grabbing them for like over my clothes lately. But I just really like this. I like that it's baggy and big. The other, my bandeau top that I got is a size small. Like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? It's probably not even going to fit me. Like, it is most likely not going to freaking fit me. I just don't know why I did that. And they had a medium there. Like, I know they did. Like, I'm so dumb for that. But anyways, I got this to wear over that if it fits me. Maybe I'll just have to wait until I get skinny. But then, yeah, is this going to be too big to wear? Ugh. I'm so annoyed, but anyways, like it matches. It's like the perfect outfit, you know, and just wait. <gasps> Look what else I found. Yeah, matching bottoms, and these were $18. These are not on clearance, so I can return these. However, I got a size small, and again, like I'm so stupid because there was a size medium, but right, size mediums have been too big for me. I just like looking at these, and they don't have, actually, they are pretty stretchy. So I just think it's me, right? I should be able to fit in these, but they just look so small. Like this top, like it's gonna be tight. These are gonna be tight on me. These are gonna be so tight, but I guess, um, right, we're just gonna have to lose another 10 pounds and then they'll fit perfectly, right? It's gonna just look funny right now, but 10 pounds from now, right? These clothes will make me wanna drop the weight. But yeah, so I have this outfit. I got, yeah, in two separate trips and they're all in different areas of the store. <laughs> so I thought that was so funny. It's Tommy Hilfiger. I've never worn them before. I don't even like these colors like together and on my body, like blue, white, red and black. I almost thought that there was blue in the top. My bandeau top, yeah. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, yeah, they have blue on the flag there, whatever. So I don't know if I'm even going to like this on me because the colors, but like it matches and I love outfits because it's easier for me because well, look, here's a top, bottom, and a sweater, right? Easy, go. You don't got to like think about it and put different things together. Yeah, I like things that match and go together. It's just so much easier for me. And then I only have to um, find a pair of tennies because I know how to put tennies on. I know about tennies, right? That's what I live in. So I can just get a black pair of tennies, right? <laughs> and um, we're good. <laughs> I know how to do outfits like that, like fits, workout fits. I know how to do stuff like that. Sporty stuff, yes. Okay, this was $5.50, a size small, medium, just a plain black top with a V-neck because I can't have anything tight around my neck. It freaks me out. And there was like a cute top there that I wanted really bad, but it was tight around the neck. Same with the sweaters. Like I had to put it back. I had to tell myself no because I'm not going to wear it. You're going to freak out. You're not even going to be able to wear it for five minutes before you start like claustrophobic, gagging, can't breathe, <laughs> breaking out in hives, right? <laughs> so um, I just got this. I know I'll wear something like this. Yeah. Um, very basic, plain. Love it. Here's the um, $8 for that swimsuit, that coral swimsuit, I think the one that fell off. Yeah. So $8 for two pieces. Great. Great deal. 
I was on my way out and right before the purses, there's, um, yeah, jewelry. And so look at these, um, Daisy Fuentes. These were $6 and I don't know if these are too big. I used to wear hoops. I haven't worn earrings. I haven't worn jewelry in like three years now. I used to have dermals. Like you can see, still, still see my scars. I had three dermal piercings in each arm. And then I had two dermals here. And then I had two in my hips and then two in my back. And yeah, that. So I, and then I had a bunch in my ears. Um, I only have like two that I wear on this side. Maybe I have that one. I don't know. I think my cartilage ones are closed. I actually just got this cartilage one taken out um, like last week, like when I moved here. Um, it was just like a stupid silver ball like the one they put in when they first pierce it but i just like removed all my piercings for the past three years but my bottom two are still open for my earrings and if they're not i can just go get them re-pierced yeah um and i've been craving like piercings and the pain like i've been craving the pain and to get piercings but i don't want dermals in my arms anymore it's just like too much of a look you know so I don't know, um, but yeah, these are smaller ones, so I can just wear these size if these ones are too big. But like, right, I might get back into like street style or something, you know, or if I have my hair up. Um, I just don't know if that's my style anymore because I used to dress like that. Yeah, like um, sporty street, but I used to love it. It used to work for me, and now I'm just like not into it. I'm trying to like, yeah, more grown style, but I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> And I got some bangles to match for $6. I was trying to pair these with um, that white oversized top. Yeah. Um, so, or like, yeah, those blouses, stuff like that. And so some gold stuff to go with that. Um, just trying to put together outfits, trying to, yeah, do something different. And these are just cheap ones. I really would rather prefer to get real gold and real stuff. But yeah, that's ridiculously expensive. And I just don't know if I like like wearing it yet, but um, I will invest once I like fall in love with wearing jewelry again, right? I'm just not spending that money um, on jewelry if I'm not gonna wear it, yeah, because I haven't like worn jewelry in a long time. And these were eight dollars, and look at how cute they are, yeah. And these are a lot more chill. Um, so I think I'll start with these. Yeah, and they're all different colors. So every single day I can just put in a different one, right? To try to like get myself into wearing jewelry. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. I thought these were really cute. Like, yeah, those uh, navy ones. I could have like put them on today just for like a little extra something. But I don't know. Does that look weird? Does it look weird? Right. I haven't worn makeup and jewelry in, in years, in three years. And so I just keep looking at myself. It's taking a little bit for me to, yeah, like recognize myself looking in the mirror and like having this stuff on me. It's just kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm taking a little bit to get used to. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check, make sure we're still filming here. Oh, I've been talking, talking, talking. I would be so mad. Like in my car, I was filming and it like stopped it from filming because it was hooked up to my Bluetooth and I was like, my Bluetooth, yeah. And I had been talking for like five minutes and I was just like annoyed. <laughs> $7.99. I do not wear sunglasses. I have never been able to wear sunglasses. They obstruct my view and freak me out for give me anxiety for safety reasons. But these ones I can like see through perfectly fine yeah and so i'm gonna start getting into the years for like days like you know like girls who are like not have their makeup on they do the like oversized sunglasses you know so i was like yeah i have to try to be one of those girls like the days that i just don't feel like putting myself together it is such a look to just throw on a pair of shades you know in a messy bun and then look presentable while you're feeling like yeah <laughs> And so that's just so much more easier. And if I'm just running to the store, right, running to the gas station, like I need to learn how to do that. And right with that oversized white t-shirt, exactly with my hair in a bun and then these on. <laughs> 
and then once i learn how to wear heels or like a black pair of boots yes and just slip it all on in like five minutes and go because i want to look stylish all the time right i want to look like i'm presentable i don't want to be wearing these plain basic clothes anymore and um i guess i'm into more of the square for my sh for my face for the glasses which i didn't think i would like the big squares but that's what i've been um yeah going towards that's what i've been liking and these were eight dollars and right i don't know um jessica simpson brand and they're yeah what's with the animal print never been into the animal print until this year <clears throat> yeah and i can see through them just fine they're not like getting in the way of my peripheral vision like you'll be able to see people come in don't worry and like all oh, this is open and it's like um a warm yeah these are like warm color yeah what do you say like makes it yellowy um so i really like these yeah i should have my mirror behind me yeah and i can see fine in them and they're not bothering me on my nose or my ears like right now right as long as i like push them all the way up <laughs> i better wear these right i better start wearing them okay one bag down let's go with this bag oh good maybe this bag is just blankets okay um so right at the beginning of the store this was fifteen dollars um a throw blanket 60 by 70 very soft i can never have enough blankets very nice i just hate that i don't have a freaking dryer here like i have a washer but i don't have a dryer and so when it comes out it's not going to be fluffy so i'm definitely ordering a freaking portable dryer off of amazon like tonight and um like i said i have to be here in this state at this house for the next week here because i have a bunch of deliveries coming so i might as well right order everything right now right now and then just know that i will be here and amazon usually is pretty quick with it um i don't know though i just don't know i don't want to run into this issue like i want to put in the notes like I don't care if I'm not here. Just leave it. Just drop it, please. I will deal with it. I won't sue you. I won't ask for my money back if it gets stolen. Like, please just leave the package here. Like, I don't want to have to sign for nothing. I don't want that. Like, honestly, like, please. I, I just need you to leave it. You can leave it outside. Like, just take a picture of where you left it or just put in the notes where it is. <laughs> I swear I will find it. <laughs> I just, I can't with this. And then I got another one here. This was $10.99. Very nice. Yeah, I want to wash these right away. I want to wash these right away. I just love blankets. I love blankets. No matter how warm it is, I'm always going to need a nice blankie. Yeah. And then the rest are shoes. Um, the first section I went to was the shoes. Yeah, I definitely have like a bag problem and shoe problem. The clothes don't count because, yeah, I need the clothes. It's just I have a problem with the bags and shoes because I usually only wear one pair of shoes in one bag, even though I have 20 of them, you know what I mean? Right, the clothes I will wear. Yeah, I'll wear them, I'll film in them, but shoes and bags, I won't film in them. They will just sit in my closet for years and years. <laughs> so that is why it's a problem. I got these in a size 7. They were $10. Look at how cute they are. Right, I'm trying to get more um stylish um more yeah and so i thought these were right they're flats they are i don't know if they're comfy right i have no idea i'm not used to wearing shoes like this so they're flats and they're cuter and more like put together looking and now that i have a car i don't have to like walk everywhere so i can start wearing shoes like this because i only have to walk from my car to the store or whatever yeah and then if i like start breaking out or have blisters you know or start being in pain i can just walk to my car and like change my shoes it's so nice right so that's another bonus of having a vehicle oh my goodness because i haven't been able to wear pretty shoes in three four years i haven't had a vehicle um in that long so i've only had to have tennis shoes to walk everywhere so i'm very excited i get to try with the shoes now um and i know i said like the heel thing 
but I am determined because even though I can not walk in them at all and I look stupid walking in them, I think it's just because I'm so muscular. Yeah, like when I'm really skinny though, like really, really skinny, somehow I can walk in heels and wedges. It's just like a balance thing. Yeah, it's like I need to get skinny in order to balance and walk and feel like I'm walking on air, you know, and be light enough to walk in heels. And so I don't know. I was like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with these. And they're a size seven and a half. Usually in heels, I'm a seven to make them really snug so that there's no looseness. And these are so steep. Like, look at that. I tried them on in the store with my sock on. Yeah. But I know that they have like things that you buy for them. I'm just trying to learn. Yeah, these were $21 bad purchase bad purchase i sat there and almost put them back a million times yeah and their clearance can't return them whatever it's a pair of black stilettos i can wear these with anything this is like a go-to right like every girl needs a pair of black stilettos is this called a stiletto yeah something like that it's close enough huh um yeah it's just the material that kind of like throws me off like it's just just a heel because of the material right it's not like fancy or anything Calvin Klein, I like Calvin Klein. Um, I like the quality. I like that it's just like a basic brand. It's not like all over labels everywhere. Yeah, it's very more um, inconspicuous. And yeah, like I said, I was looking into like heel, what are they called? Like you put stuff here, like you, like I didn't know that heels weren't meant to, like you have to break them in. Yeah, you, like you have to break them in and then like put heel pads. Yeah, and like, um, they make toe pads and they make like toe tape. I didn't know that. Like what kind of person, like I just don't understand heels. Like I literally thought there was something wrong with me until I learned that heels just aren't comfortable for anyone. Like heels are just like made to put you in pain, which then I was just like really even more like concerned for this world. <laughs> I don't know. I just love how heels look. I love how heels look. I just want to be able to put on a dress and a pair of heels and go. Like, I love the look. I love the style. And, like, if I'm not wearing heels, like, yeah, flats just don't do it. And because my legs, how I'm shaped and I'm muscular, I just don't like wearing flats with dresses. I think it looks, um, like, too muscular. Like, I don't know, on, on me. Yeah, I just didn't, I just don't like it. I want to be able to wear heels. I really do so that is my goal um maybe that'll make me lose weight also make me like excited to lose more weight instead of freaking out <laughs> i got another freaking pair 20 dollars. yeah these shoes were like the most expensive thing i got there but i don't know and this is like yeah i sent like 100 200 dollars when i first like down the first aisle when i first got there yeah of shoes so we're definitely going to film in these. Yes, exactly. We're going to film in them, take pictures. Um, yeah, so I will make my money back. Like, it's only $20. Like, I will make my money back on both of these. Like, I for real will just filming in them and taking pictures. But, like, I want to be able to wear these in public. Yeah, and so this is a size 7. I want to be able to have these as, like, a date night option. I want to be able to, like, go out. But, like, yeah, these are plastic. These are going to give me blisters, right? Like, how do you do this? Help me. And, like, yeah, I just don't know. Like, what am I supposed to do? Tape it all up? Like, wear nylon socks? Are there, like, I have to look into really, really, really how you guys do this. Um, and this is for sure like it's gonna get all sweaty under there and rub and I'm gonna get blisters within the first like three four hours So how do you do it? Do you put tape band-aids underneath here? Do you prepare your skin somehow? Are you wearing invisible socks? Are there socks that cut off right here? So your toes stick out so people can't notice that you're wearing like nylons and stuff like that I think there might be yeah, like a nude nylon that cuts off at the toes or do I just buy nylons and cut them off at the toes <laughs> I have to look into all of this because I'm really not about to yeah and like I don't want my feet to be all scarred I have like um a cut on my foot and my feet take forever to heal are yours like that because I got like one yeah on the top of my foot I have this like little scrape and it's been there for like a month and it's still like just yeah it's the scab is still there and it hurts and like i don't i don't understand my feet take forever to heal and then it leaves like dark scars yeah and they take like years before they like fade i don't like that right <laughs> i don't get it 
whatever um these heels might have been like bad purchase yeah but they're not because i want them and i want to learn how to walk in them i'm gonna be just like walking all around here i'm gonna feel myself learning learning how to walk in heels with aura yeah <laughs> Okay, and then I got my trust and true $20 for some sneakers, US polo, seven and a half. I wore my other new polo shoes that I got today, and I don't like this brand for sneakers, so I don't know why I got another pair of them, right? But these ones have um, strings, and the other ones don't. They're just slip-ons. I just don't like them because the, um, the bottoms of them, they felt very heavy and like they don't bend much. Yeah, so I don't know. I just didn't like i'm very particular with the sneakers um i like i love puma but the pumas are like too narrow i'm yeah i used to only wear nikes but then nike started becoming like cheap and falling apart and i didn't like them anymore and so i'm kind of like all over the place trying to find like a new brand of sneakers that i like but i just kind of got these because they look nice and right i don't have to like walk in them um i think pumas are my go-to for like walking and exercising right now i just have to like size up or get like a wide or i have to like try them out at the store yeah like get a seven and, i have to get like yeah seven and a half wide or like an eight even maybe um because they run very very small but these ones fit me and these ones feel a lot lighter and so we'll see how i like these they just like don't bend yeah they just it's just like a flat that's what i don't like yeah i need um what's it called yeah that bendy part in the middle but we'll see these are cute pink they'll match all my clothes i'll definitely wear them i got another pair of us polo black and gold i just really liked how these looked these were also 20 dollars, size seven and a half so right i just love how they look right i like how they look they just yeah again with the bottoms they just really don't bend i forgot what that's called i need that thing to be like curved in the middle yeah um for my the way my feet are shaped um i forgot what it's called yeah it's called something but i really like the look of these yeah they're cute so cute more my style okay last last freaking item calvin klein a size seven these were nine dollars very cute black and gold again i'm getting all the flip-flops um i have to remember that i can like wear these out in public right i've been just wearing sneakers because i've been shopping and i don't want blisters i really don't want blisters and my feet are not used to this and if they start sweating, that's hard plastic. I'm going to get blisters and then it's going to be like a day I need to wear sandals and then I won't be able to because I have blisters. You know what I mean? Like, oh my goodness. I'm just like, yeah, I really need to be able to walk good. Um, right. I already have problems walking as it is. I don't need to be limping around and having extra things to deal with. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like sensitive on my feet, like more sensitive yeah because any little scrape on my feet and i am just a baby about it it hurts i don't like it and it takes forever to heal like the heels because yeah the shoes go up and down all day um but anyways thanks for watching like comment and subscribe for more i'm sure i'm gonna have a bunch more hauls i'm still moving in here and i moved here with nothing um so my place is starting to finally fill up i'm just waiting on my furniture um yeah thank you so much have a wonderful night bye